team so far? Well, uh, I think the biggest thing for us this year is we've, we've uh, brought in some young guys. The guys that were coming back are more experienced, mm -hmm. and it's created competition. Mm -hmm. And competition brings out the best in everybody. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we've had as much depth. I know we haven't had as much depth since I've been here as we do now. So mm -hmm. now we have guys that if they maybe aren't playing as well, the guy behind them can take his spot. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, created guys improving their game every practice, mm -hmm. which, which, which is what you want. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got guys that can catch the ball uh, five yards and take it a big play. We've got mm -hmm. some bigger receivers now mm -hmm. that can uh, play over the top of a little bit smaller DB. Um, so I like our versatility. And um, I think it's going to really benefit us. And it's going to allow us to, some of these young guys that we need to bring along slowly, mm -hmm. we can do that now with these older guys, teaching them how to, how to play the game. And, uh, you know, our quarterbacks and the offensive line, you know, our job really is is easy compared mm -hmm. to what they got to do. We right. just got to help them mm -hmm. gain confidence and make plays for for the team any way that we can. I think I think that we have the guys that can mm -hmm. do that. You know, we'll find out uh, September 1st mm -hmm. when we play Oregon State. Mm -hmm. That to me will be the biggest test. Can you talk about having a leader like LeQuentin within the group, a guy who's obviously, you know, been a leader on this team, but how has he kind of maybe uh, emerged as a leader to the receiver in the receiving court? Yeah, you know, I think it's good to have someone that has played quarterback mm -hmm. and now can bring a different mindset um, to the receivers because he's seen it from both sides now. Right. So he can give them some insight on things to do. He can also help, which has been beneficial, my, my receivers understanding coverages mm -hmm. because he's used to seeing that. And as a receiver, the more you can understand a coverage in our system, the better because we do a lot of reading the, the coverages as we, as we run a route. So he's really been a, a strength in that regard. And then he just he's a four-year player. Mm -hmm. And he brings uh, confidence and game playing and play making ability that um, it's hard to kind of really put into words. Right. We know about LeQuentin. Can you maybe mention some other some other guys specifically who you're looking forward to have, uh, you know, good camps going into the fall and, and maybe, you know, be key contributors on, at receiver? Man, I tell you, it, it, this has uh, been my toughest year since I've been here. We have, I mean, Andrew Wynn, Brad Nelson is right. healthy mm -hmm. uh, and he looks great mm -hmm. coming back from surgery. Um, Josh Hanbury is a mm -hmm. guy that is extremely fast. Mm -hmm. um, Demond Bolt, you know, just had surgery, but if he's healthy, he's a super athletic player. Right. And then the the two junior college kids that we brought in, mm -hmm. both Eric and um, Kerry Fortson, are going to be playmakers for us. Mm -hmm. And Xavier Marcus, a guy that kind of came in late to us, has got tremendous speed. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I hate to really leave anyone out right. because you know Terry Lucas. I'll tell you, Terry Lucas so far this camp is probably been the guy that's caught my eye the most. Right. He's made a lot of plays downfield. Mm -hmm. So that's encouraging. He's a redshirt freshman. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, so I guess it's fair to say that that receiving spot, nothing's really locked in right now. I mean, you guys got a, got a lot of competition there. And I guess the, the guys who perform well through camp are going to be the ones who, you know, or, or, or I guess regarded as the starters. No, you're exactly guys. right. And that's what I've told them. At this point, no one's a starter. Right. We'll find out if we go through camp and get a couple scrimmages on our belt. Then we'll be able to determine, which we haven't been able to do in the past. Mm -hmm. It could be a young guy, it may be one of the old guys. Mm -hmm. But that that has been, I hope, for the first time since I've been at Nichols, right. we can be one of the strengths of the mm -hmm. team. So we'll see. All right, man. Thanks for the I'd just like to thank Coach Anderson. Mm -hmm. You know, he uh, he volunteered to be my position coach mm -hmm. for this position. Mm -hmm. And um, he's uh, he's been teaching me everything I need to know to be successful at mm -hmm. wide receiver. Mm -hmm. It's not just football; it's just being mentally tough mm -hmm. on and off the field in all mm -hmm. situations. And uh, gelling with the receivers and already having a relationship with the quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. It's just fun, mm -hmm. just being able to get the ball in more positions. Mm -hmm. Talk about that group that y'all have. What are some of the strengths of the group of receiving the receiving core that y'all have? Some of the strengths that we have is playmaking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can line each guy across the board, and each guy can make a big catch down the field, catch mm -hmm. a five-yard ball, and take it up the field. Mm -hmm. It's just being able to make plays and getting the ball in our hands and space and being able to block for each other mm -hmm. down the field. All right. Talk about being out here in pads for the first day. What was it like? Uh, getting out? Obviously, everybody's kind of battling the heat, but what was it like the first day in pads? Um, you know, it was adversity, mm -hmm. you know, being in pads uh, for the first time in the mm -hmm. whole camp. But, you know, we'd rather face that adversity right now rather mm -hmm. than down the line during the season. So, you know, we just getting in pads, and it's competition across the board, defense yeah, jacking it up with the offense, mm -hmm. offense going back at them. So mm -hmm. we just out here competing and trying to get better as a, a whole team. All right, Luke, anything else you want to say? Um, go Colonel. All right, man. Looking camp so far. Uh, you know, he, he's done a good job. He, 
where, where we wanted to improve with him is make him a multi-dimensional player and uh, you know get him more involved in some of our run game stuff. Okay. And he's actually done a really good job coming off the ball and being physical in the run game. And that's kind of what we've looked to improve because he does have a feel for uh, getting open, especially versus zone coverage. He's mm -hmm. got a little bit of a feel for running routes mm -hmm. and those types of things. Uh, but what else? What the reason it's been good is because we've got you know we've got four guys in this position group that have all played right. and played a pretty good amount. And so the expectation is pretty high for all of them, and the competition is high. And you know I, I think they're all making each other better because right now we don't know who's going to play for us right. at this point at the mm -hmm. position. So we've got a lot of guys out there that, that can contribute and can do the things we want. So uh, the, the competition is, is only going to help make him as well as the rest of that group better. Can you talk about some of the guys specifically who are going to be maybe pushing for a starting role, pushing Selfo, and, and kind of talk, who else is in that mix? Uh, we'll start senior Marshall Crawford. Right. Uh, you know, he came in as a defensive end mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, his transition the past three years to tight end. Right. Uh, he's done, he's improved a whole lot since I've got here. He uh, He's always been pretty physical in the run game. Uh, you know, because he was a defensive player most of his life, he hasn't really, he really didn't have a whole lot of a feel for some of the stuff we were trying to do in the past right. game. And he's really taken a lot of pride in, uh, in his role and gotten a lot better at it. And, and he can do all the things we ask him. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's Josh Dudley, who, he, you know, he played a lot as a freshman. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to be a junior this year. Uh, he's a big, big physical kid. Right. Uh, you know, when he plays low and when he can keep his pad level down, he's as effective as anybody we have. And, uh, you know, when we can get him using his physicality even in, in the pass game and, and being able to, to get open against linebackers because he can be so physical. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Mark Mayberry uh, has, has played in, in a little bit of a role in each of the past two years. He's, been, he's battled injuries. Um, but if he's able to go, uh, he, he's an excellent blocker. He's an mm -hmm. excellent motion blocker. Mm -hmm. And he's improved. Again, he's improved a lot in, in the route running uh, in our passing game as well. I guess the last thing we speak, uh, it's got to be exciting for you and for the guys to know that, you know, if you get a guy who really emerges, Coach Stubbs is going to use him in the offense as a, as a real weapon. And uh, talk about just the potential to have that tight end spot emerge as a real weapon in Coach Stubbs' offense. Oh, it definitely does. I think I even heard Nick mention it uh, when right. he was at Tulsa. You know, Garrett Mills over there set the record right. for receptions by a tight end. And right. So we've only really scratched the surface with what we can do mm -hmm. with our position. Uh, I think we are opening up, opening the playbook up a little bit because mm -hmm. coaches are trusting us, our quarterbacks are trusting us mm -hmm. uh, to be where we need to be. And you know, if we continue to demonstrate that ability, uh, I think there's there's a really good opportunity to be a real multiple offense mm -hmm. out of out of a tight end oriented personnel. Perfect, coach. Anything else you want to say? Uh, yeah, I forgot to mention Dorian okay. uh, Durald. He's no our problem. he was he redshirted last year. He's a okay. redshirt freshman. Uh, he's the tallest guy I got. He's got the longest arms okay. out of anybody I got. I love his potential, as, as especially as a pass catcher, somebody that you know can get down the field in a hurry and uh, and kind of take the top off the of defense mm -hmm. from the position. Mm -hmm. And right now, you know, he's working his tail off too, getting uh, getting more physical in the run game. He's starting to starting to really throw his body around and be physical too. So his potential is there, and we're just he's just coming along as well with the rest of the group. Perfect. Thank you so much for that, that spot right uh, now. I mean, we, we really all become versatile players, uh, two-way guys where you can not only uh, run routes and be fleet on your feet, but uh, also in the blocking game be hard-nosed. Mm -hmm. you gotta be, uh got to be like a lineman and also got to be like a receiver. So it's one of the more uh, challenging positions, but I think uh, all four guys we got there now, and then five of you include Mark who just got injured, but uh, mm -hmm. I think we're all, we're all uh, developing pretty well. Mm -hmm. Just talk about uh, playing in this Coach Stubbs offense and, and, and how the tight end can, can have a big role in it. Yeah, he uh, he really features his tight ends. I know uh, mm -hmm. he always shows us when he was at Tulsa, he had a guy uh, that was All-American, Garrett Mills, and uh, he was really the guy in their offense. And usually you see that as a wide receiver, uh, if they run the ball, the running back is the guy. But being a tight end and knowing that he likes to go to the tight end, it really makes it exciting because uh, we got a bunch of different things we can do. And uh, it really opens us up to uh, new things. What was it Everybody like coming out today in pads for the first time with the guys? Felt good. Uh, coming off of last year, it's, uh, it's definitely been a grind to uh, get back into it. We've all been waiting for it, but now that we're out here, we're geared up. Uh, we're definitely ready to go. Mm -hmm.